Welcome back all. Today I'll be showing you how you can edit your AP and bin files to adjust your camera position. You can also access these files through Railworks tool, but keep in mind this video is only how to access them directly. As the Jinty only has a headout default position, we'll be using that as an example while maintaining our headout camera for our secondary view. Most locomotives are in the AP file format, but as the Jinty isn't, I'll explain how to access the AP files first. So first thing you want to do is create a backup. So we'll just put a folder here, call it Jinty, and we'll be accessing that one later. So if you don't know how to access your train simulator files, just go to your Steam, train simulator, right click and go to properties, in local files, go to browse. So we are going to need two of these windows open. And the reason that would be is because one of them we have to scroll down all the way until you see SIRS. The second one we want to have open in assets. So AP file, uh, we'll go to Michael Whitley. We'll do this for the J50 and you will have J50 assets. So this is the AP file. So you can extract all the files from this through either Renoir, uh, WinZip, 7-Zip, so whatever extraction program you prefer. Uh, this one I'm pretty sure it's set to WinZip. So we'll just extract. So once this is extracted, you will have your J50 assets as a file and you'll have all your files in there. So we want to copy the rail vehicle. Just go back to the main J50 folder and just paste it there. And then the entire J50 assets that you just extracted, you can now delete. So from this point on, we're now set up to edit the bin files. So I'll go back to the Jinty, which is what we are actually editing. So rail vehicles, and then we would want Steam, Jinty, and we want the cab folder. So in the cab folder, you will see cab camera, and it is a bin file. So this is where the SERS comes into action. So we just click and drag it straight onto the SERS, and that will make a document folder. So here we want to copy, open our backup, and just paste it there. So if anything goes wrong, we know how to unscrew ourselves up. So that one we can just delete, and we are left with the document. So we want to just right click and open in Notepad or whatever word program you are using. So here you have your default main uh, camera view and this third one is your secondary camera view so here you have your x-axis which is uh, left and right so the higher this number right here is then you will move to the right if this is lower or in the negative then you will move to the left your y-axis will be your up and down so the higher this number here is the higher you are and the lower or in negative is the lower you are and your z-axis is your forward and back so this number here the higher you are you are more forward and the lower or in negative you are more back so as we want to also alter our secondary camera to be our head out, basically we want to copy each one of these numbers into this one. So we just highlight, copy, and highlight and paste. So 
that's our secondary camera setup exactly as our primary and because we do not want to have the head out we want to adjust the x-axis because that is left and right so we want to put ourselves more to the left so all we have to do is put it to one so next thing we want to do save we can close that out and then in this document for the cap camera we want to drag back onto the SERS that'll recreate the bin file then we can just delete this document as we no longer need it so that's basically it once you load it up it'll have the new default and secondary camera position so with the J50 it's exactly the same thing you go rail vehicles steam you'd want to find where your cab camera file is and it's right there exactly the same thing just follow the exact same ones and that's it though so thank you for watching and I hope nobody screws up their files because you should always back them up thanks and I'll see you later